Okay, and now we're going to do a problem with, uh, imagine there's a pool here, uh, full of water. The top of the pool is 10 meters long and 4 meters wide, and the pool is 3 meters uh, in depth. So we want to drain this pool. So let's assume it is completely full of water, and then let's assume that there's an opening here like a pipe. We open the pipe and let the pool drain. The opening can either be way at the bottom here or it could be even at the bottom here. So let's assume pretty much for it's uh, pretty much at the bottom of the pool, okay, or either the side of the pool, okay. So the diameter of the opening is 20 centimeters. We want to calculate how long it will take. So how long will it take? How long will it take to drain the pool? Okay, so this is a good problem illustrating the use of Bernoulli's principle and we're going to have to apply Bernoulli's equation to this and there's going to be some integration involved in this problem. So let's start with Bernoulli's equation, P1 plus rho G H1 plus half rho B1 squared, P2 plus rho G H2 plus half rho B2 squared. So over here, as the pool is going down, as the water is going down, <clears throat> we have the surface area of the top. This one is dropping with, uh, with the velocity V1, right, at the top. And then we have the surface area is A1. And then we're going to apply the continuity equation, the velocity of the, the, the velocity with which the water flows through the pipe, that's V2. And then the surface area of the pipe is A2. So we're going to apply con the continuity equation A1, V1. The velocity V1 is the velocity with which the water level goes down. So A1, V1 equals A2, V2. Okay? So what's the relationship? The surface area here is 10 times 4. So 40 meters squared times V1. And that's going to equal... A2 is the uh, area of this, so if the diameter is 20 centimeters, the surface area is pi times 0.2 squared over 4. So remember the area of a circle, pi times the diameter squared over 4. So pi times, then we change this to 0.2, and then divide that by 4, and that's we get V2. So let's calculate what that is. 3.24 V1. So the velocity with which the water comes out over here is a lot, lot faster than the velocity with which the water level goes down. Okay, so V2 is 1273.24 V1. We're going to put that over here. Now the pressure P1 and P2 are the same. The atmospheric pressure is pushing from the top, P atmosphere. So the pressure P1 is the atmospheric pressure and since over here you just basically open up the pipe and let the water flow, the pressure here is also atmospheric pressure, okay? So this one is atmospheric, this one is atmospheric, this one P1 and P2 cancels, and then we can put all our stuff here. What we're going to do is we're going to put the xy axis down here, the xy axis. So H1 is going to be the original height, but it's going to be changing. It's going to be going down, 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 right? So we start with rho g. H1 is just simply going to be Y plus half rho V1 squared and then that's equal to rho G H2. Rho G H2 is equal to zero. So the height here down here is pretty much zero. So if I put the opening of the pipe either at the side way at, at the bottom or down at the bottom, the H2 is simply just equal to zero. So this is zero, half rho. And then V2 is going to be 1273.24 V1, and then you're going to quantity square that. The density of water cancels out. So in this case, it really doesn't matter what the material is made out of. The density, if it's water or if it's um, some other liquid, it's still going to drain pretty much at the same rate. So the density cancels out. Pretty much 1,621,000. 138.94 and then you have uh, that one uh, divided by 2 V1 squared.
Okay, so we're gonna divide that number by two. Six nine b one squared. What do we have here? We have an equation that is relating the velocity of the water level as the water level is going down. V1 is the rate at which the water level is dropping. The velocity is related to the actual height of the water. The more the water drains, the, the less is the velocity. As Y goes down, V1 goes down. The more the water drains, the less the rate at which the water is draining, right? So one is dependent on the other. So we can say V1 is equal to negative dy dt. <clears throat> so as the y is decreasing, right, we know that dy dt is going to be negative, and then negative of negative is going to give you positive, right? So what we're going to do here, one more step left, we're going to take the V1 and solve for it, square root this. So, well, actually what we could do is divide the g into this. We get 9.8, a big number to the power of 0 0.5. You have 287.595 v1 square root of y. And now we're going to apply the equation v1 is equal to negative dy dt. So you have here square root of y is equal to 287.595 negative dy dt and the dt can go up there the radical y can come down here so we have dt is equal to negative 287.595 dy over y to the power half then we integrate this we integrate this right this one from 0 to t and then what's the integral of this the original y was 3 meters long right so from 3 all the way to 0 so we integrate the limits of the integral are going to be from 3 to 0. Okay, so what is that going to be now? Well, it's going to be integral of y to the negative half dy. And what's the integral of that? That's going to be y to the half over half, right? So you add 1 and then you get 1 half and then you divide by half. So it's going to be 2y to the 1 half. <coughs> Okay, then you add a constant, but in this case, this is a de uh, definite integral, so we're just going to do 2y to the half, and then we're going to go from 3 to 0. So let's put that down. So the integral of this one comes out 2y to the half from 3 to 0. Okay, so t is equal to what? Well, when you put 0 in there, you're just simply going to get zero, and then you're going to put minus in there. So minus, and then you're going to put negative 287.595 times 2. The 2 came from the integral of that. And then 3 to the power half. And then the two negatives cancel, and then this tells you the time that it takes to drain this. So let's calculate that. 287.595 times 7 seconds. That's how long it takes to drain this pool. If I divide that by 60 seconds, 16.60 minutes. Okay? If you had a pipe that was 20 centimeters in diameter, you would be able to drain that pool in 16.6 minutes. How would things be affected if the pool was uh, deeper? Let's say the pool was 5 meters deep. How do things get affected? Well, the only place that we used the, five, uh, the depth of the pool was basically in the limit of the integral. So this integral would change to 5. So, so basically what we notice is that the depth of the pool affects the time by a square root relationship. The time is proportional to square root of the depth. So if I made from 3 to 5 meters, basically the time would be, now the time would be 21 minutes. If the depth was 6 meters, it would be more. And uh, what if the depth was basically instead of 3 meters, uh, we can make a relationship that is uh, like a square rootable. What if the depth was um, 12 meters? If the depth was 12 meters, what's the ratio of 3 to 12? So we went from 3 meter pool to 12 meter pool. The ratio went up by 4. Okay, the ratio went up by 4. 
if you take the square root of 4, what do you get? 2. Okay, so the, now the time would double. 33.3 minutes. Okay, so basically the time goes up by 2. How about the, the diameter of the pipe that we use? How does that affect things? Let's say instead of a 20 centimeter diameter, it was a 40 centimeters or it was 60. Much bigger. 0.4 squared over 4 V2. Right? So now it would be 160 divided by 8.31 V1. Right? Then when you go over here to do your equation, Bernoulli's equation, you have GY plus half V1 squared. What you got to do is V2, you have to square this quantity. So all of a sudden the number changes. Now you divide this by 2 and subtract half. Divide 7. Then you square root that. You basically have here 71.8985. And then when you do your integral, you go over and how is that going to change things? Now the T is going to be what? Instead of 287, the number is going to be 71. 71.8985 times 2 times radical 3. Centimeter to a 40 centimeter, okay? We have made this water flow a lot, lot faster. The time of draining is uh, 4 minutes. What was it before? 16 minutes. Okay, so we have cut the time from 16 to 4. Basically, by doubling the size of the pipe, we have cut the time by 4. Okay, 4 times the amount of time that it takes to drain that pool. So instead of 16 minutes, now it's going to drain in 4 minutes. Okay, so this gives you a good example of uh, using Bernoulli's equation where the velocity of um, the liquid actually depends on the height of the liquid, okay? Thank you very much.